Hey guys, Ryan here with another Audacity tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to do a basic mix of drums. So I already have some pre-recorded drums. They're actually drum samples. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Audio. And I have right here. So let's listen. All right, all right, so we'll stop right there. Take it back. And a quick overview of everything. Let's just go to View, Mixer Board. This gives us a better view of what's going on with the mix. So from here, you got gain control. You can mix on the fly with that. Um, and you can also pan, which is great, up top. So if we play hat to the left let's say here I'll do solo real quick so you can hear that let's go back you can also pan over here you can see it to the right put it back to the left not all the way to the left I like to keep it at right around 40 um, and okay so actually let me read lay out these tracks so i i don't want to start with the hi-hat as my first track so if you have tracks like that and you wanted to reorganize it you can just hit the track over here and do move track up i like having my kick as the first track and then i like doing my snare as the second track so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so we have kick snare hi-hat for the basic beat and then after that i'll put the toms Okay, and then I'll have the over, overhead. Okay, there it is. And then the room mic, perfect. So, let's go back. So, like I was saying, if we open a mixer board up top, you can bring these all down. You can, you can actually fade these in. So I'm going to drag everything down and then we're going to hit play in the beginning. Let's go back to something real quick. Okay. doesn't matter. So we're going to ride this in. It's just our kick. Okay. And we can bring up the snare okay then we can start with the hi-hat to fade in there we go And then we have the overhead, the other ride symbol. Oh, let's go over here. Then we have room mic. Just hit solo. So that's what that's doing. That's what that sounds like. And we have the toms going to put up here. Make it a bit louder. 
So, as you can see, everything's pretty leveled out for the most part. Just showing you that this mixer board is pretty handy for the panning, soloing, and setting your levels. You can fade them in like I was just doing. Uh, if we wanted to do something individually, something to an individual drum part, let's let's say um, we wanted to add reverb on the snare, you would hit select snare, and then we'll go to effect, reverb, and then I'll just leave it at that. These are my settings, but just kind of going with it. And let's listen to that in solo. Gives it some nice ambience, so that's good to add to a drum kit. I'm kind of going fast here, so if you really want to mess with those settings, feel free to. It's all about experimenting. So let's keep going. Let's say I was listening to the kick on its own, solo. Let's say we wanted to add more to it. I would hit select, effect, bass and treble, and let's add bass. There we go. Listen back to that. On solo. Let's listen to the overheads. So I'm going to select that, start this over. And we can go to the graphic EQ. And we can mess with the settings. So this is from before. We can flatten it so we can start from scratch. So with the overheads, I like to focus on the symbols a bit. So we will add some high end. Just kind of messing around here, showing a quick example. So if we listen back, oh, doing it okay. Got more shimmer to it, which is good for cymbals. Let's say we wanted to add a little bass because you can hear that kick drum. Just a little bit there, and maybe a little more trouble. Okay. On solo. So we're coming up to the tom part here. You can see the waveforms. So let's go to the toms. Hit select. Put some reverb on that. Hit OK. I'm going to solo it so I can see what it did. Gave it some ambience, as you can tell. Again, we want to add some more. I'm going to select the track. Don't forget to do that right there. And then let's do graphic EQ. Let's add some low end. So I'll do some 80, 100 right there. Maybe a little 160, 125. Hit OK. And the toms should sound a little boomier. Cool. On solo, and let's hear it with the rest of the kit. Okay, so let's move on to this room mic. I'll show you something we can do with that. So let's solo it, select the track. We can actually put a compressor on this and make it do a cool effect. So let's hit select. Keep forgetting that, sorry. Doing that is for uh, let's keep it around there. Fast attack time and fast release time. Let's hit preview. All right, so that's pretty loud. Um, let's hit OK. Oh yeah, look at that. Look, look what it did to those peaks. So I'm gonna have to compensate for that. So let's go to the gain. Let's bring it to negative four. Less. And if we listen to that with the rest of the kit, it's a little loud. 
fading it in from here, as you can see. I'm just blending it in really low. If we're looking at the peaks, we can see that it's getting pretty close to zero. So I obviously don't want it to clip. It'd be okay though. So that's just a basic way to level using this mixing board. And then you can pan on it, which is really cool. And the solo feature is really neat. So uh, if you wanted to listen to everything one by one, let's say we were doing solo. We can unmute the snare. Now it's just kick and snare. Let's do the overheads. We'll unmute that. So that way we're building the drum mix one by one, which is a pretty, pretty cool trick you should experiment with. Put in that room mic. All right, so there you go. And that's really it. So have fun, and I hope this video was helpful.